number of power punches. So for years, Tiafimo Lopez and his father have carried a chip on their shoulder. Olympic snub, status earned without the big turning pro signing bonus. You name it, they used it as motivation. As you see the Brooklyn-born star with his father, his trainer, trailing. Over the past year, there is no denying what he has become. The can't-miss rising star. Unique athleticism, skill, and destructive power. And now it all awaits. Everything they said they would deliver on is right in front of them. But what will be opposite them is a very capable, very determined, and very powerful world champion, Richard Comey, who lives and trains here in New York. But this past winter, he returned home to Ghana as a world champion. And when he did so, as you see the serious look on his face, he was brought to high priest and to the king of his tribal heritage. He received a private blessing and a celebration that was put forth. And he is brought to tears by even hearing others discuss that reception back home. He says he can't think about losing the belt. He can't think about disappointing his people. He can only think of giving everything he has. And as he makes this walk here to the famed Madison Square Garden ring, many view him as an underdog, the world champion as an underdog. But he possesses the one thing that solves all problems in this sport, power. He can crack. His right hand is lethal. So here we go with one of the most anticipated title fights of the year because of how even it is and the power that each man possesses. The skyrocketing ascent of Tiafimo Lopez against the world champion Richard Comey. For the official introductions, here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen from Madison Square Garden here in New York City, Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated presents the first of our world title attractions brought to you by Geico and Allegiant Airlines. This bout is sanctioned by the IBF. The president is Daryl Peoples. Introducing our three judges scoring from ringside, we have Julie Letterman, Eric Marlinsky, and Steve Weisfeld. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the IBF Lightweight Championship of the World. <laughs> Introducing to you first, the challenger on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing rose gold trunks with white trim, proudly representing his Honduran heritage and fighting out of Brooklyn, New York. He weighed in at already 134.4 pounds, a 2016 Olympian. He is undefeated in his campaign in the professional ranks with a record of 14 wins, no losses, 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Twice honored as prospect of the year. Tonight he is making his first attempt at a world title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the electrifying IBF number one ranked world lightweight contender. Introducing the undefeated Teofimo Lopez. And his opponent across the ring, the defending world champion fighting out of the red corner, presented in association with Dabella Entertainment. Wearing gold trunks with silver and black trim, hailing from Accra, Ghana. 
He weighed in at 134.2 pounds. His fine record stands at 29 wins, two losses, 26 big wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, making his New York debut and the second defense of his title, please welcome the hard-hitting and defending IBF lightweight champion of the world, introducing Richard R.C. And a referee in charge, David Fields, now to give instructions. Okay, gentlemen, we scheduled about 12 rounds for the IBF lightweight championship of the world. I've gone over the rules in the dress room. I expect you to obey my commands at all times. Most of all, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, good luck. So here we go. After all the talk from Teofimo Sr., the trainer, that we are going to take a world title in our 15th fight, which this is. And then we will take down the great Vasily Lomachenko in fight 16, which would be the prize for the winner here tonight, as Lomachenko is sitting ringside. Can you back it up? Ready? Against the Ready? IBF lightweight champion, Richard Comey, Teofimo Lopez, as we are underway from New York. Right away, Teofimo Lopez trying to establish his jab right now, trying to get respect from Comey, trying to get the distance down. There's the right hand of Richard Comey. That is what Richard Comey is at his best, a viper-like right hand. Tim, I'll offer you this, an opportunity to tell us a little more about Richard Comey, the must-do, can't-do on the channel. Well, track. they told us in a fighter meeting, you know, must-do. Pressure is the thing that sticks out to me here. He must... Pressure Lopez, take him in the deep waters and drown him. And the things, the three things that he told us that he had, he couldn't do. The thing that sticks out to me is, do not lock up in the, in front. Don't put the earmuffs on. Don't shell up. You become an instant punching bag when you do so. And when you do, you're going to be absorbing a lot of power. Lopez, 11 knockouts among his 14 wins. Dre, Lopez's last fight out was unremarkable, and we know why. He was greatly distract, distracted by the fractures in his family and his personal life. That was July 19th when it was a decision win against the previously undefeated Masayoshi Nakatani. What good can come out of that experience as a learning moment? I love that fight for him. It wasn't, you know, the Teofimo Lopez that we're all used to seeing, and that's good. It brought him back down to earth. It let him know that he's not invincible, and it's probably going to get him ready for this fight tonight, at least psychologically, if nothing else, because, again, he's back down to earth in terms of, you know, not having too much confidence, and he trained different. He looked different in the fighter meeting, so I think that prepared him for tonight, Joe Tess. So a shoulder roll and a counter right from Lopez moments ago. It's a good patient round from both fighters. Good left mm. hook right there from Lopez. But Comey, I think, has got the slight edge with the jab in the right hand he's landed. Had the right hand earlier. Now closing in that range that time. Comey right now get hit with some solid shots. The left hook of Lopez just landed, buzzed him a little bit. Lopez has a little more variety to his weaponry right. than Comey has. He can be effective with that left hook. There should be high-level offensive stuff throughout. A very good start here to our lightweight world title fight. We're going to take a quick break and come right back to Madison Square Garden. Stay with us. You see Joey Gamash, a recent addition to the corner of Tiafimo Lopez, Mark. Gamash is here because Tiafimo asked for more structure. And as you can see, it's a delicate balance he has to strike. He has to defer, pick his spots. But Joey is a former two-way champion. He lost here by infamous lockout. And the last time we saw him was last summer when his fighter, Otto Valin, almost shocked the world against Tyson Fury. One of the wild nights in the sport 
when Otto Boleyn was able to cut the lineal undefeated heavyweight champion and stand there toe to toe only to see the talent gap widen as the fight went on and Fury won that fight back in September of course right, break, break. now on, setting up what is widely reported on, as the mega showdown that'll happen after the new year with the two undefeated heavyweight champions Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury meeting up in a rematch with both fighters in different places there is that short left hook by Lopez that sends Comey back here at the start of round two. Oh, what a big shot by Lopez and Comey is on spaghetti legs here in round two the champion is hurt badly can Lopez do it he has two minutes to work big right hands he's got him hurt Lopez Brooklyn born coming here to Manhattan looking to make magic Comey is hurt badly Lopez moments away from having it happen and there it is he has done it Teofimo Lopez delivering on everything he said he would the signature celebration he was looking for the backflip but that ring may be too crowded to celebrate a year ago on Heisman night, he was all over the place, making highlight after highlight. And tonight, he comes back a year later, and he strikes his own pose, a knockout victory. Incredible power, and oh, the Joe Burrow jersey's going on. Heisman night and a new world champion. At only 22 years old, the incredible power of Tiafimo Lopez. He does it again. And did he ever close the show? Landing 33 of the final 42 punches he threw. His wife Cynthia now up on the apron. It's Joey Gamash, who was a great addition to that camp. Just calmly retrieves the mouthpiece and now father and son who said they would they said fight number 15 of our pro career we will have a belt and now the showdown with Vasily Lomachenko will happen in spectacular fashion Lopez wins a world title and the Hall of Fame promoter, Bob Arum, who has seen him all through the years, now with his newest titleist. Let's make it official. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. One minute, 13 seconds in round number two. Our referee in charge, David Field, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated. And the new IBF lightweight champion of the world, Teofimo Lopez. The belt is his. At 22 years old, 15 and 0, 12 knockouts, and he just destroyed Richard Comey in that second round. We're gonna show it to you every which way, but for right now, these precious moments of capturing the top of the mountain for Lopez and family. The arm raised. Something about Heisman night with this kid, huh? the way he likes it, being the star in New York. Let's go up to the ring to Bernardo. He's going to go and check on Richard Comey first. He wants to make sure that Richard Comey is okay. His father was just telling me that Teofimo just made history becoming the first Honduran champion ever. But this is his moment. It's 
grandfather, Tiafimo Lopez, the original Tiafimo, was born in Spain, emigrated to Honduras. His father takes great pride in their country's heritage and achievement. And then Lopez, the new world champion, was born in Brooklyn, raised for part of his life in South Florida. And then he came back home, got married this year, and he said, Brooklyn is home. And now Brooklyn has a world champion. Go ahead, Bernie. All right. I'm here with Teofimo Lopez. You get that world championship. You fulfilled your father's prophecy that you Where would be it, a though? champion. <laughs> it's right there. What does this mean to you, though, to be called a world champion? God, thank you. <laughs> Always. Adios, gracias. Gracias, adios. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> I'm lost for words, but like the, the great KG said, anything is possible. Anything is possible! <laughs> you fought a heavy-handed <laughs> champion who had power in both hands. How were you able to break him down like that? Preparation, man. <laughs> That's a bad guy. That's a bad man right there. Any shot could have done the same thing. So I think everybody was looking forward to this fight for those reasons, man. It was going to be, a, it was going to be an explosive night. This is a place where the greatest fighters have fought, where the greatest fighters have lost. But you come away with your first ever title, and you did it just down the street from where you were born. What does this mean to you? Everything. It's a blessing on blessing, man. Uh, I'm grateful, man. I just want to tell everybody out there, dreams come true, man. You just got to have faith in it and just keep going. 17 years, man. My first world title winning it at Madison Square Garden. This is surreal, man. Your dad said you would be a champion in 15 fights and that you would be fighting Vasily Lomachenko in your 16th fight. Who do you want next? You guys know who you want, man. 2020, it'll be going down. But as of right now, I'm going to finish the year enjoying life. Enjoying life as we all should, man. I'm more than an athlete. And I go to every athlete out there, to every fan that, that think that we're just robots. We're more than athletes, baby. More than athletes. You're getting seated. Honduras, this is para ti. Thank you very much. The new champion, Teofimo Lopez, Joe. The emotion running high. The celebration will yep, be running deep. I want y'all to see how special this young man is. There he is, Diplo, right there. Took the eyes of Comey down. Oh. That is the right oh. hand with the right hand. Look how Lopez got his head off the line, and he looped the right hand in and caught him. Beautiful shot by Lopez right there. Yeah, beautiful shot, but I like the way he set it up. He ducked down, got Comey to look down, and came right over the top. They both exchanged at the same time. Right Obviously, right Lopez's shot got there before Comey's did. A lot of power. And, and, and Lopez has a way of winding up with that right hand. We've seen it before. We saw it again tonight. You can't get oh hit goodness. with that kind of shot early in the fight and think that you're going to have a chance to get up and be able to uh, weather that storm and shake that off. It's just not going to happen. Both and men opened up. One guy got there first. And then let's show you the end of the fight when he landed 31 of 35 power shots. This is it, end of the fight. You know his man is hurt. He got him against the ropes. He squared up, defenseless, punching hard, right hand, left hand, right hand, until the referee steps in and stops the action. Lopez, he smells blood here. He has his opponent hurt. And he's just finishing him. What a great performance by Lopez. Outstanding work by the young champion, and he's Teofimo Lopez. And there's the backflip to finish. With a Joe Burrow jersey on. Last year was Kyler Murray. This year it's Joe Burrow. But there's only one name right now that concerns us. Lopez Tiafimo. And Loma, Vasily Lomachenko in the ring with them. We'll talk about that when we return.